Greetings and salutations, friends! They say the only truly flawless victory in a battle is one in which you do not have to fight at all, and the enemy simply just surrenders to you! <laughs> Earlier this week, a statement was made by a member of our team on a live stream that was not up to our personal or professional standards. It did not reflect the views of the studio. We apologize for any hurt or harm caused. <laughs> Smug cunt mode engaged. Okay. I mean, I didn't even ask for an apology, CA, but uh, I'll, I'll take it, I suppose, well, when you're offering it up. Sure, why not? <laughs> Fuck. I, I made a video laughing about this whole thing. I do not give a shit about what one of your now ex-community people thinks about me. That bothers me not in the slightest. And hey, Wheeler, thank you for all of the free publicity. Now there's... Forum posts about me everywhere. People are wondering who the fuck is this Arch Warhammer guy? And why does everybody have this unreasoning, insane anger towards him? Calling him neo-Nazi, for example, and going on full-on circle jerk screes about me. Can we just make one thing clear here? If I'm going to have to be a Nazi, which apparently I am, can I be an old-school Nazi, you know, one of those wearing the beautiful Hugo Bosch uniform? Is it not a neo-Nazi? I mean, those guys have no sense of style. Okay, point fucking taken. There. This is better, right? Look. Steam got a little logo and everything. If I'm gonna have to be a fascist, despite my own protestations, at least I may be one of the stylish ones. You can give me that much, at least. Yeah? Cool. Fantastic. But of course, it's not just the forum posts either. No, I've gotten my very own PC Gamer article because this bullshit is newsworthy. Somehow. Creative Assembly released a statement on Twitter today apologizing for Whelan's comments, saying it was not up to the developer's professional or personal standards. We apologize for any hurt or harm caused, it concluded. Aw, don't worry, CA. My fifis were not actually that badly hurt, but, uh, you know, thank you for the consideration. Arch Warhammer is a strategy YouTuber who also appears to go off on tangents about SJWs ruining games and censorship in Total War appears to go off on tangents. I am insulted, PC Gamer. I very clearly go off on tangents quite frequently. And you saying SJWs are not ruining gaming? Have a look at Bioware before you say that. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Hiring along political lines apparently turns out to be a rather bad idea, when you simply could hire whoever is best for the job instead. And as for Total War censorship, that too is undisputable. CA are literally contacting modders, asking them to remove certain images from mods because they find them offensive. This, in all due likelihood, due to a tantrum thrown by a CA employee on the R Total War subreddit, which ended in said employee essentially threatening the subreddit, saying that any place who hosts such imagery would see CA's official presence dialed back. And shortly thereafter, the subreddit changed their rules to ban all non-safe-for-work content. If that is not censorship, I would love to hear your definition of the word, because it must be fascinating indeed. Creative Assembly removes mods that are designed to provoke, intimidate, or antagonize other groups, reference other IPs, or create content of a sexual nature. Actually, PC Gamer, that whole thing about sexual content was in a blog post. It was not in the end user license agreement, what CA used as a justification for asking the modder to remove certain images. And of course, if it's not in the end user license agreement, and merely on some forum post which no one is asked to read or comply with, then it is not a rule. And even if it was a rule, these are massively ill-defined, overreaching rules meant purely for one single purpose. To allow CA to remove anything and everything they do not like by using the broadest possible language. The last one has upset modders wanting to sex up Three Kingdoms and turn female warlords into waifus. Some players, like Archwarmer, reckon that's censorship. 
Correct, PC Gamer. This is, in fact, censorship, by the very definition of the term, which, clearly, you do not know. Allow me to enlighten you. Censorship is the suppression of speech, public communication, or other information on the basis that such material is considered objectionable, harmful, sensitive, or inconvenient. And apparently, Creative Assembly thinks that having female generals that actually look attractive is inconvenient. Most unfortunate for them, but at the end of the day, at the point at which this mod was removed, it was not breaching the End User License Agreement, the only authority which CA has to remove anything, and even then, it still would be censorship, especially considering their extraordinarily broad and ill-defined language. And finally, a couple more things that PC Gamer gets wrong, because, well, they're PC Gamer, and that's pretty much what you expect. In his own video, which inaccurately portrays Will's insult as an official Creative Assembly statement... Ah! It was not an official Creative Assembly statement, PC Gamer. Really? It was made by a Creative Assembly employee at the time on an official Creative Assembly Twitch stream, hosted by Creative Assembly's official Twitch channel, and it was at the time said by a person receiving a paycheck for doing just that, streaming, whilst presenting an official Creative Assembly product. But no, this clearly was not an official statement. <laughs> by any definition, I am more than within my right to look at that and go, hmm, CA has made no official comment on this at that point in time. It does seem official, doesn't it? Because, well, made by an employee on their official channel, on the clock at the time, presenting their product. PC Gamer, think your points through, morons. And finally, while lamenting Whelan's lack of professionalism, Arch Warhammer's video partner calls him a shill trying to impress girls by virtue signaling. Ah yes, the language of professionals. I see. Okay, alright PC Gamer, so allow me to get this straight here. Wheeler calling me a dickhead on an official Creative Assembly Twitch stream, presenting a Creative Assembly product, yada 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 yada. That is not an official statement. But Kyle, <laughs> on my channel, saying these things, many of which I was actually saying, no, 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 Kyle, calm down. Because he can get a little bit hot under the collar. Hell, the reason why I invited him on was precisely because I knew he would make things a little bit more interesting. But that is an official statement. That is subject to the critique of professionalism. Hell, PC, allow me to introduce myself. I am Arch Warhammer. It's, it's just me. I'm just a dude here. I make YouTube videos. This is it. This is the height of my professionalism. <laughs> On the other hand, Creative Assembly is a multi-million dollar company with official Twitch channels, official statements, official streams that release official products to the community, the player base, the Total War players, strategy gamers in general. Do you believe that mayhaps there is a slight difference between this and this? I mean, hell, I make better content too, so... <laughs> Thanks, PC Gamer. Also, you know, this is great for me. Wheeler has a little tantrum, calls me a dickhead, gets me tons of attention. And then you too makes this utterly confused and misleading article, not even linking to my video lying about me, and everybody everywhere on forums all across the internet are now wondering why does everybody hate Arch Warhammer? Calling me neo-Nazi, sexist, racist, every buzzword in the fucking dictionary. And sending them to YouTube, searching for my name, and discovering that not only am I not wearing a swastika anywhere, or throwing up Hitler salutes, or talking about how the Juden must be exterminated, I appear to be quite reasonable. Thank you, PC Gamer, for further confirming why sites like yours are horribly outdated. <laughs> so, I will simply take my free victory <laughs> in a war I did not even fight, and ride off into the sunset. Until next time, have a good day.